I am now walking back to the Magic Kingdom and I have Claire with me. Yay! Hi, hi. <laughs> she told me to dance. I did. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think you would, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Good morning from Disney's All Star Sports Resort. It is nice and early. I'm off to use my refillable mug. Uh, I'm only here for a couple of days, but I still wanted to get a refillable mug just because for me it's a big part of the experience. <laughs> so I'm going to go, and I definitely get my money's worth because I refill it so many times. So I'm going to go do that, and then I'm going to get myself ready for the parks back at the room. I'm actually heading to the Magic Kingdom today and um, I think I will also just have a little look in the gift shop here see if anything takes my fancy I could actually do with another t-shirt or two because I've been going through my like two sets of clothes a day and I only sort of um, had accounted for one set of clothes a day in the park but uh yeah because it's been so humid I've been coming back having a shower changing etc so I could do just with a few more items of clothing to see me through just coming up to the quick service area now I really like the theming in this resort you can see there's all the different areas so I'm staying over at touchdown 10 which is one of the newly refurbished areas i think it's the only building actually right now that is refurbished at all-star sports and um, the other all-stars have already completed their refurbishment and the new rooms are amazing if you want to check out a room tour that's already up on my channel and you can actually see the before and after because we were originally given a non-refurbed room and we just asked uh at guest services and they were able to change us to a refurbed room and guys it's a massive upgrade so definitely check that out especially if you're choosing between the resorts so the food court here is is the end zone food court that's where I'm gonna head now so they do have coffee in the rooms but I always find the coffee from here is much better so I always come down to refill my mug here with a nice big cup of coffee in the morning they have the 50th anniversary blend the jo Joffrey's roast and um, yeah it's quite nice so fill her up now I was hoping they might have some half and half I don't see any though I'm gonna have a little scoot round, see if I can find some. Okay, so it looks like they only have the Coffee Mate creamer. I'm gonna give this a go anyway, just the original one. They have the French vanilla as well. Okay, so it doesn't look like they have any half and half here. I don't know if that's normal. Like maybe uh, they only have it in the deluxe resorts. Let me know if you know down below. I know I've, I've always been able to get it when I was staying at like Old Key West or Polynesian, Animal Kingdom Lodge, etc. So maybe it is a deluxe resort thing, I don't know. Uh, but I've got some coffee mate and that'll do just fine. I don't actually take that much anyway in my coffee. There's just something special about that little splash of half and half. So if I was ever coming back, I would actually bring my own and just keep it in the little beverage cooler in the room. I think I'm gonna pick this t-shirt up. I was originally looking for it in the blue color that they have, but I actually really like the yellow. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that. So it's quite nice. It's only $25 as well, which I think is pretty decent. And I love that design. I think it's so nice. They have this super cute Halloween tote that you can purchase if you spend over $40 on merch for $24.99. It's so nice. Here is the main pool area. It's not open yet, so hence why it's so quiet. They open at 10 a.m. I might try and come and check out the pool this evening. I, I've really enjoyed more recently, like on my last trip, coming to the pool in the evening. I always thought, like I always saw people doing it, you know, when I was coming back at the end of the evening and it was kind of the last thing that I wanted to do, but actually it was really nice. Now, when we were at um, Old Key West, and Polynesian we did it a couple of times and we just went to like the little jacuzzi and sat in that but I think it would be quite nice to just go and chill in the pool for a little bit then go have like your evening shower and just because I find it kind of like sets you up for bed you know I sometimes have these grand plans and they never materialize <laughs> So I've made it to the Magic Kingdom. It's certainly looking busier today than when I was here earlier on the trip. Like I mentioned, that day was a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party day. And I do feel like those days tend to be quieter in the mornings. So I'm heading on up to the early entry point where I'll scan my magic van to confirm that I'm staying on site. And then I will get into the area for resort guests. One second while people walk behind you and then I will get me. 
So at Magic Kingdom, they only open Tomorrowland and Fantasyland for that early entry. So you always filter off to this right hand side. Now, if you come kind of before the early entry starts, you will find quite a lot of crowds here, like building up on the Tomorrowland Bridge and on the bridge over to Fantasyland. So I've kind of timed it that I come after that sort of initial mad rush. Now, obviously, if you're trying to get in here and get on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, or if you know you want to get on space with no weight, etc., you might want to come earlier and just wait. But uh, it's obviously quite hot and it'll be quite crowded, so just bear that in mind. Just scanned my Magic Band Plus to get in there. I'm excited to actually use this properly today and try it out on some of the cool features in the park. But for now, we're gonna head over towards Space Mountain because that is just always the ride I go on first. I just love it, it sets my day off perfect. Little ride on space. I just honestly love this ride. And for some reason, just starting my day with Space Mountain gets me so excited. And I know some people might be thinking like, oh, doing the same thing like all the time, but there's, uh, there is just like a nostalgia and an excitement behind it. And to be fair, like there isn't a lot of big rides open during this extra magic hours. It's Space Mountain, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Another one that might get a big queue would be like Peter Pan, but I'm not so fussed on getting on that. So yeah, and I'm not gonna wait, like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is probably gonna be a long queue already. Let's actually check some wait times while we're walking down. So it looks like Space Mountain is already up at 25 minutes, but I'm gonna go give that a go. I bet it's not actually that long. And then Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is already up to 60 minutes. So, uh, yeah, you can see there's a bit of a queue over by space, but that's fine. We'll go give that a go. I find like in the mornings, those wait times are not accurate and it does tend to be quite a bit shorter. All right, Space Mountain done and it is now five to nine. So I'd say it probably took me about 20 minutes, including the actual ride itself. So shorter than the 25 minute advertised wait, but we're gonna head over into Fantasyland before all of the guests are let through. We have like <laughs> three, four minutes. <laughs> um, and then they're also obviously gonna be opening up the far side of the park then as well. So over by Big Thunder Mountain, they're gonna be opening Frontierland, Adventureland, uh, right at that time as well. I figure I'll let all the crowds filter into those areas before I head around, but I wouldn't mind just coming around to Fantasyland. Oh. Oh, that was the fireworks at the castle. I guess that means they're done, right? I guess they finish it a little bit early, so do be aware of that. It's about like three minutes, three minutes to nine. I'm sure I'll see all the crowds coming through. I can see some people running. Not sure if they're still early entry guests. They probably are. I'm sure there's going to be quite a flood of crowds when the park opens for everybody. Oh wow, here it comes. Okay, we literally are just ahead of the big park opening. You can see some people running. I quite fancy something indoors, aircon. <laughs> it's already hot. Wow, look at that Seven Dwarfs Mine Train queue. That's only gonna get bigger now that everybody has access to the park. Let's go in Woody the Pooh maybe. Let's we'll see what the wait is like. Oh, 30 minutes, wow, okay, okay. I think we might head on, oh, actually I know. U-turn. Oh, can we make it over to Barnstormer before the crowds? I think so, right, let's go for it. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna head over to Barnstormer. I love the Barnstormer ride. I was gonna say Little Mermaid, but I think uh, Little Mermaid is a good one to do at really any time. <laughs> it uh, doesn't seem to get too much of a wait, so let's go over to Barnstormer. That is such a short ride, but it's so much fun. <laughs> I feel like since they changed the Big Top Souvenirs store over here, this whole area has kind of been a little bit forgotten because one of the main reasons I would come into this area was to go to that Big Top Souvenirs store because it was so cool. And now it's just a bit average. And so I don't really bother to venture back here. Oh, okay. So they're actually holding people at the entrance here. So obviously this area is not open yet. Okay. It is exactly nine o'clock. Oh no, it's not, it's just a tour, ignore me. Everything I said was incorrect. <laughs> I was wondering, cause I did see like Dumbo going around. Okay. So this is obviously a Magic Kingdom tour. I would really struggle to be honest, doing a tour like this on a day like this. Um, standing around is kind of the worst thing for me. Like when it's hot and humid, 
I'd rather just be moving, dipping in and out of aircon. Oh, it's lovely and calm back here. <laughs> do they still do the character meets? I'm sure they do. We'll check that out afterwards. I remember they used to not start those until like 10 a.m. or so. But it would be cool if we could dip in and get a character photo. I haven't met a character yet on this trip. I used to love doing character photos. Like I would spend a lot of time queuing up for character photos and things, but I don't know, the last trip in May, we just didn't really do it as much. We did a character meal at Garden Grill and that was amazing, but yeah, I don't know. I've not really been into the character meets as much. So it is saying a five minute wait for Barnstormer, but I did see that the car oh my god they're testing i just saw the bikes go past on tron i'm pretty sure i did or unless my eyesight is deceiving me oh i'm so excited for tron okay maybe we'll just have a little pause up here in the queue for barnstormer hi yeah i got to go on it in shanghai it is amazing oh, I'm, so I'm so excited for it to open I, I know fingers crossed Oh my God, guys, they are, can you see? They're testing Tron. <gasps> okay, let's like stop here for a sec. Oh my God, there it is. He's like, I'm not 10, I'm 11. I'm like, <gasps> You're nine at the restaurants, okay? Okay, so it was advertised a five minute wait. Definitely a complete walk on, which is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally relate. shortest ride in all of the Disney parks. I'd like to know. It must be, right? Super, super short. But I love it. It's good fun. So the character meet and greet is not open yet. I think it might be 10 o'clock. I'm sure it says it on the app. But I do love the theming around here. Like I say, I do just feel like this area is a little bit... It's getting a little bit less love at the moment. And a lot of it is to do with this store. I used to love this store. I remember when this area opened, like my first trip after this area was all done up. I absolutely loved it. We came here every time we came to the Magic Kingdom to go to the store, to meet the characters, go in the Barnstormer. I think we'll head around and get some air conditioning on the Little Mermaid ride. Just like my trip in May, the air conditioning has been quite hit or miss on this trip. Like there's some rides that have not had great air conditioning. There's some stores that have not had great air conditioning. And then there's others that are really good. To be honest, the Disney bus is probably the best for air conditioning. But um, yesterday when I was in Guardians of the Galaxy, for example, we were in one of the rooms of the pre-show and the ride went down temporarily and it was so hot. And then you have all those people crammed in there. So yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's a budget thing like that, you know, they've cut the budget for the aircon. But it is such a shame because like when you're already struggling with the heat and you just need those like moments of relief when you're going through a ride or whatever to then be hot in the queue of the ride too is a bit of a struggle so i have struggled a bit on both trips with the heat so i've just really made sure to take the time to hydrate and just also take the time to relax and that might just be like this just getting on a ride that you wouldn't necessarily choose at this hour in the morning but just to get that break from the heat in the aircon and it has a five minute wait aka it's a walk-on! I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty I've got oozits and what's its galore Just off the Little Mermaid, feel like a whole new person. That little break in aircon makes such a difference. I know I'm banging on about it, sorry guys. My Irish self just struggles, okay? You just saw there, there's a queue outside Gaston's already. Uh, it always is super popular. I do like the Lafouze brew, but um, 
I don't know, like, I'm, it's not my favourite thing either. I'm really sad actually though that uh, Be Our Guest, which is just behind me here, um, hasn't started doing breakfast again because that's something actually I would have been interested in doing this morning, but um, it doesn't. And actually I'm not sure what breakfast options there are around the park really. I've kind of found breakfast to be a bit of a difficult one in the parks at the moment because there are quite a few places not doing their breakfast menu. So a Garden Grill as well and Epcot isn't doing theirs yet. So I've just been having breakfast in the mornings like before I get here, either like a bagel or some cereal bars and stuff. Uh, but I always find I just get early, I just get early hungry. <laughs> I get hungry early when I'm here. Uh, it's obviously the time difference, jet lag, etc. Uh, so I, what I do instead then it's just have like a nice early lunch. I'm just deciding where to go next. I think maybe I'll head on over into the other land, so into like Frontierland, Adventureland, and see what we can find over there. Maybe a little ride on Pirates of the Caribbean would be nice. <laughs> I've come to Big Thunder. It was posting at 35. It's taken about 25 minutes to get here, so not bad at all. And I'll get a nice breeze as I go around on the ride. <laughs> it's definitely not the coolest ride queue though, so do be aware of that. Luckily it moves quite a lot. Um, assuming it doesn't go down or anything, it's actually not too bad at all. Definitely looks a lot busier now. Let me see what the wait time is posted at at the front. Oh, it still says 35. Okay, this is a lot busier though than when I came in. Maybe it's a real 35 wait now, but look, you can see the queue comes all the way down to the entrance. It's 65 for Splash. To be honest, I'm not surprised because with it being hot going on Splash, sounds great. <laughs> It is 12 minutes to the next Enchanted Tiki Room show, so I might just have a little wander around and then maybe come back to that. I'm going to go over and check on the Country Bear Jamboree because I have not seen that show in so long. I'm also tempted to get myself a little snack. Ooh, I might just actually have a little quick stop off into the shop here if it's open. And we can see Aladdin and Jasmine are just meeting here on the left hand side. But yeah, I'll have a pop into the shop. I'll go check on the Country Bear Jamboree. And then if that is, oh, the shop isn't open. Okay, there are a lot of merchandise shops that haven't opened, like they haven't reopened. I think this is fully closed, yeah, okay, it is. Um, yeah, there's lots of stores that still haven't reopened, which is a shame, because I love popping in and out of all the different merch stores. I don't know if that is a staffing issue or a merch supply issue. Maybe it's a combination of both. Because um, even in the, the stores that are open, you can notice like there is not the kind of variety in stock of uh, like merchandise that you would be used to seeing. So um, just bear that in mind. I certainly have noticed a big difference from previous trips to the more recent trips in terms of merchandise, both the stores being open and then availability of merchandise itself. Let's have a little pop in here. Actually, no, go on. Let's go up and see. Oh, here it is. Okay, so Country Bear Jamboree has not yet opened for the day. Okay, that's fine. Oh, but the bears are out. Yay! Hello! I love the country bears. Oh! Dear, we distracted him. <laughs> have I been, have you been drinking? Oh dear. <laughs> oh, it's not open yet. No, oh, I'm waiting for the show. Oh, 11 o'clock, okay, perfect. <laughs> Let's pop into that Frontier Mercantile. Oh, is this the pin store? See, if I had Natasha with me, she would know all these things. I'm never really looking out for pins and stuff. I wonder if they have the Magic Band Plus in here. I see the regular Magic Bands, but... I just heard someone call them the fancy magic band. So it is the Emporium on Main Street that will have the magic band plus. It does seem that in each park there is just the one location at the moment that is selling them. I'm sure they have them at all resorts. And then obviously if you're staying in a resort you can pre-order. I got myself a pineapple soft serve Dole Whip. 
I couldn't resist. So I was going to go into the tiki room, but it took me quite a while to eat that Dole Whip. I was going to try and like eat it and then go in, but I got brain freeze like right away. So I just had to take my time. But I'm actually going to pop out of the park now, pop over to the Contemporary Resort. And I'm actually meeting up with a friend who you may recognize if you like to watch Disney vlogs. I found that taking the little break around now, cooling off, means that I can go for so much longer in the park. So it'll be nice to get a little air con break. Uh, she's actually coming over from Disney Springs right now. So she's gonna get a bus to Contemporary, so I'll just meet her there. I have found that if I take this break and go chill in a hotel with some air con, go back to the room, do whatever, I end up being able to go for so much longer. What I'm gonna do is probably get the monorail to the Contemporary, I'm gonna be lazy. And uh, I will meet my friend there and then we'll come back in and I would like to see some of the parades and stuff. I haven't seen any of that sort of stuff yet. So it'd be nice to see that. I'm probably only gonna take like half an hour, 40 minutes. Nothing too long, but it honestly makes the world a difference with how I feel and just like how much longer I can stay in the parks. It is busy on Main Street, but there is like such a noticeable difference in crowds. And I know I keep saying it, but it just does go to show like even on the same trip over the same week or two weeks, you can see massive fluctuations of crowds in the parks. The one thing that I do think is really good is that now that they have the early entry, with extra magic hours that isn't an error <laughs> um, in all of the parks, it does help distribute the crowds a lot more. But it then on the flip side for a off-site guest means that you have no way of avoiding a park that has early entry. So um, yeah, it's just interesting seeing how that works out both staying on-site and off-site. I think staying on-site, it works out really well because you can just go to any park and so it distributes the crowds better instead of sending them all to one park. Now obviously it'd be a lot nicer if it was actually an hour instead of half an hour, but still I think it's a nice perk. I actually think the Magic Kingdom, however, is not the best park for it just because they do that split of only opening two of the land. So it sends all the crowds to the one area. 70 minutes to meet Mickey right now in the Town Square Theater. I've just come up to the monorail on the resort side. You can see one of the express monorails just heading off in the opposite direction. Looks like there hasn't been one for a little while. There's quite a few people waiting. And the resort monorail will come from the Grand Floridian. Then it'll stop at Contemporary first. Taking transportation, center, Polynesian, back to the Grand Floridian, back to Magic Kingdom. I'm at the Contempo Cafe in the Contemporary Hotel and I've just filled my mug up with some Coke Zero. But look, see, they have half and half and whole milk in these jugs. It's exactly what I like splashed in my coffee. So I might have this and then maybe I'll have another coffee. We'll see. So I've come into one of the DVC two bed dedicated rooms here at Bay Lake Tower. Now I stayed in a studio back in May. You'll be able to see that room tour on my channel. I'll make sure I link it up in the eye down below. But this room is absolutely fabulous. So look, the lock off part, which isn't locked off because it's a dedicated <laughs> room, just in case you don't know the difference. A lock off room will literally be a studio attached to a one bed and you can lock it off and it is a dedicated studio. So it'll have kitchen and all of that sort of stuff, facilities in there. A dedicated two bed doesn't lock off. It's all one room. It just has the extra bedroom. And so the extra bedroom bit, i.e. this room here, will look a bit different. So uh, one of the good things here is that it actually has two beds. So if I was staying with my sister, my parents, this would be perfect for me and Rachel because we each get our own bed. It's not like a sofa bed and bed situation. And then this looks very similar to the studio, this side here. This is the bathroom then in that second bedroom and then i imagine this is some storage space as well okay let's have a look at the main room out here now this in my opinion is the jewel of these rooms i absolutely love this area and you would get this area i think almost identical if you were in a one bedroom and my friend stayed in a one bedroom here and we did go visit her room and it looked just like this it's so nice isn't it and then you have your balcony out here 
Oh, and the monorail's going by the window. Oh my God, how perfect is that? And you can see the Magic Kingdom. Imagine just like sat here chilling in your living room, watching the monorail go by. That's so cool. All right, we'll check out the bedroom. So this is the main bedroom. And again, I think you would have something similar if you're in the one bedroom. You just wouldn't have that extra room that I showed at the start, obviously. And you've got this little screen into the bathroom and there's a nice little dedicated desk here as well. But look at the bathroom, look at that bath. You've got your jets, lovely big vanity. It's amazing. And you've got your rainfall shower in here. Love these showers, very similar to the one that's over at the Polynesian. I actually think the Polynesian studio is one of my favorite studios on properties. Probably is my favorite studios, certainly of the ones that I've seen and stayed in. One of my favorite things about a one bed or above laundry. So I'm actually in the grand villa right now. How cool is this split level? Oh my God. Imagine this was a theme park for you. You could just be sat here with your champagne, watching the fireworks. I'm now walking back to the Magic Kingdom and I have Claire with me. Yay! Hi. I, she told me to dance. I did. I, I, I didn't think you would, but I appreciate it. You've not seen my moves, so <laughs> now you regret that. Um, so, oh yeah. Oh, I love getting an overhead monorail shot. Um, I think we're gonna try and find somewhere to grab a little bit of food once we get inside. Yeah. Because I'm a bit peckish. I don't know what you fancy. But yeah, so you will have seen that I just got to tour some of the DVC rooms. That was amazing. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna just have quite a chilled afternoon in the parks. Yeah. It's obviously super hot right now because it's like one o'clock. So Claire was just pointing out to me that these pumpkins up here are like, they look like proper carved pumpkins. I've never noticed those decorations before. I absolutely love the Halloween decorations here though. I think they're amazing. That pop of orange everywhere just looks so good. And actually the queues right now aren't outrageous to get your picture in front of the pumpkins. Oh, I think, oh yeah, they still have the cast member there. They're still doing photo pass photographs. But yeah, it's so pretty. I think cause like I normally would come in September as well. I just have a lot of nostalgia associated with this time of year in the Magic Kingdom. So here's another view of Tron, this time from the People Mover. Look! <gasps> That's so cool. So it looks like they're building the walkway up just like it was in Shanghai, which is really cool because I thought it looked amazing. Even better at night. It's going to look amazing at night. I'm so excited for everyone to see it and for everyone to go on the ride. So I think we're going to head over to Pekka's Bill. We're taking the bridge off into Frontierland. I love this side view of the castle. It's so pretty. They've got the show on right now. So there's loads of people over in the hub watching. It is hot. It's very hot to be standing out watching a show. But um, so we decided to find somewhere that has indoor air con. Oh, the other place is Columbia Harbor House, actually. We could do there. Okay, it's decided. We are gonna go into Pecos Vale. I don't know that I've ever eaten here. I may have eaten here once a long time ago, but I don't recall. Uh, but it is my kind of food. I love like fajitas, tacos, nachos. So this is the taco trio. Um, it looks okay. I'm not sure what that's swimming in down there. <laughs> Uh, but I'll let you know how it tastes. <laughs> I'm actually heading out of the park now. I'm gonna go chill at the room. I'm gonna leave Claire here for a while. And then I'm hopefully gonna join her a bit later. Yeah. I'm just, I need a rest guys. It's like two o'clock. That's the time that um, I need to just get myself out of the sun and have a bit of a chill. But we had a nice little time wandering around. Yeah, that's the thing. I never vlog when I'm like, just <laughs> catching up and chatting. Like, I love all this, like the see you real soon. Yeah. Pumpkins. We're not gonna make it! We're not gonna make it! Oh wow, there's like a line of cast members ready to open the door for us. This is very exciting. 